wa Kenya. Natumai mko sawa, mko salama popote mlipo na popote ambapo mnaitazama Celeb Corner KE from. I welcome you. And right now it seems Rahila Odinga as again said goodbye to the dialogue with President William Ruto. A publication has been made by the Azimiola Umoja TV. And this is a publication coming from Raila Odinga Jr., Raila Odinga himself, and also a Secretary General to, Azimio, to the ODM party, who is the Nairobi Senator, Edwin Seaford. I want us to get a look, to get a look at this. Because this speaks in volumes. This speaks very loud. And we need to get ahead of what might befall President William Ruto in his expectation to have a dialogue with the former Prime Minister Raila Odinga. Now, Raila Odinga warns ODM members against joining Ruto's regime. Raila Mesema. The pressure has increased, and I am not going to side with the oppressor. I am not going to side with the government of the Republic of Kenya. I am not going to side with President William Ruto. Those that have stood on podiums, in churches, in, the, in barrios, taken a political stand in defending President William Ruto, you have no place in Azimio Laomo. Did you, did, did you not do that, Bonarai Laudinga? Now, this is the statement by Clifford Derrick, 20, uh, day 23, July 2024. Raila Odinga, the leader of the Orange Democratic Movement, ODM, and Azimiola Umoja One Kenya Coalition, has backed the statement by E Secretary General Edwin Sifuna, as he issued a stern warning to ODM members, urging them, not to join President William Ruto's regime. In responding to queries about members of ODM who are said to join the cabinet to be announced by the president, he clarified that he has not forwarded any names to the president for appointment to the cabinet. Which is a lie because we all know that Joho, Oparanya, uh, Opio Andai, John Bandi were forwarded to be to be in the next cabinet. I, I think the pressure has become too much that Raila Odinga has left his soldiers in the in the battlefield. He has left them hanging in Tsara Desert without without water to drink. Now Raila said his position and the one that had been taken by the party was that there were critical outstanding issues that needed to be addressed by the government before any form of engagement was entered into. On Friday, Raila had issued a statement requiring that the government address some seven issues including one, cease threat against Gen Z demonstrators exercising, exercising their constitutional right to peaceful protest. Number two, Compensate the families of Kenyans killed by police during these and the previous protests. Number three, immediately and unconditionally release all arrested, uh, all arrested political protesters. Number four, drop all pending charges against protesters. Number five, halt abductions and extrajudicial killings of protesters. Number six, arrest and prosecute police officers involved in abductions and killings of protesters. Now, on number seven, he says, stop the reappointment of dismissed cabinet secretaries. Stop the reappointment of dismissed cabinet secretaries. Wachana na watu, you should not reappoint the dismissed cabinet secretaries. Let them go home. Waenda nyumbani. That, that's what Baba said. Now, earlier today, right, Edwin Sifuna, the ODM Secretary General, issued a statement by the party stating that the party had not endorsed any member to be appointed to the cabinet. Sifuna informed the public that any member seeking such appointments are completely doing so on their own and again is the ODM's position. But now, John Bundy, he, you stood on, on a political stand. Mm went ahead to point fingers 
at James Orengo and at the former president of the Republic of Kenya Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta claiming that Uhuru is advising Raila Odinga against the dialogue with the president you stated that if it's not for Raila Odinga or if it's not for Uhuru Kenyatta you would be a cabinet secretary in the current gov in, 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 a, in the government of Raila Odinga and not a nominated member of parliament yeah we can give you that but umeachwa matani jangwani lisilo na maji jangwa la sahara that's where this statement by edwin sifun has left you so stop putting your needs forward stop putting your stomachs forward Gen Z's didn't fight for you. They fought for their own rights. They fought for their future. They fought for their families. Eh. Now, on the current protest, Raila emphasized that both the party and the coalition are in solidarity with the issues being raised by the Gen Z's, which seeks to address long-standing governance issues. Our commitment to the cause championed by Gen Z remains steadfast. These are the same issues we have long been fighting for, including, including during last year's Mandamano protest, Odinga stated. Now, Mr. Odinga said he had pro proposed a national conventional convention to afford all Kenyans an opportunity to find a lasting solution to these long outstanding issues and chart a way forward. He therefore highlighted the importance of, of preparing for a national convention to ensure these outstanding issues are addressed. These issues include high cost of living, unemployment, corruption, ethnicity, and tribalism in the government, in, in government employment, other governance issues. He also said the plight of doctors and health workers must also be addressed immediately. Mr. Odinga also stated that the issue of odious debt the cost of education and diet taxation must be addressed. Mr. Odinga identified procurement and revenue collection as a major source of corruption, contribution to Kenyan's economic and political crisis. We know exactly where the problems lie in the government and the loopholes that successive government has exploited to plunder taxpayers' money. These issues were eradicated during the government of national unity leading to economic growth under Kibaki's administration. Unfortunately, these problems have resurfaced and the Gen Z movement is right to demand an aid to them, Odinga concluded. Now, Odinga clarified that the purpose of the convention is not to create new reports, but to look at modalities to implement over 26 reports that have been generated since Kenyan's independence at the cost of tax taxpayers' money, but which remain unimplemented. He said that the participant will take cogn cognizance of Kenyan's diversity and add to it. Now that is the statement from Azimula Umoja. Mm, Raila Odinga has decided, you know what? Kalonzo Musioka, Mother Karua, Eugene Wamalua, James Orengo have all gone against me. I have no soldiers besides me to fight the battle of dialogue and inclusivity in government. I have to step down, and he has done so. So now, we are expecting that Raila Odinga together with the Zimula Umoja principles to forge forward a movement that opposes the dismissed cabinet secretaries to be appointed back and be vetted to again run offices. I saw a statement by South Mongirango member of parliament, Sylvanas Osor, saying that the dismissed cabinet secretaries that have been reappointed do not need vetting by the National Assembly. How dare you, Mr. Sylvanas Osor? Hmm? How much have they stolen from the Republic of Kenya? How much have they looted? How, may, how much taxpayers' money have they looted so that we don't look at them twice, so that we can confirm that they took from us? We know the National Assembly is President, Ru President William Ruto's bedroom. 
So he gets there, does things the way he wants, and gets out. We leave it there. All we had is these people that have been reappointed. These decisions should be rethinked, Mr. President. And you, Bonaraila Odinga, has confirmed this, that you are not for yourself no more. The pressure that the Gen Zs have put on you has made you rethink your opinions. Now, I'm very tired today. I've spent the whole day covering the demonstration. So, I think we shall, we shall hang our boots there. We shall head the video there. But remember, this country needs us. And we need our country. So, as long as, we, even though we continue fighting for what we believe is right, let's not destroy our country. Let's not allow people to pay us to destroy our country. Because I have seen young men and women today receiving money along wakiwekewa mafuta along Gong Road. Na wanakuja kuzua vrugu tau. And I like how and the men in town today reacted to that. The do the guys in town. Waliwashika. Wakachoma mata ndu dizao wa moja wao. They wanted even to kill them. But you know what? God came through and they added the, 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 the young men to, to the police. So mutu wa sikupelu fu moja waribu inchi yako. We need this country. And I dare you, I dare, dare say that. You who is in diaspora, you know how much Kenya means to you. You know you can never live in UK or US forever. The reason you are there is because you, you are happy you are there. Is because you know I have a home to go back to. And that home is Kenya. So, let's pray for our country. We are in economic crisis. As long as we continue going this path, this path is, leaving us to, is leading us to hell. We need to rethink how we operate. People told us today that we will continue demonstrating till 2027. We will not have a country to run if we are going to do that till 2027. Please, hear us out. We love our country so much. I cry for Kenya. I dream for Kenya. I am a Kenyan by birth. I am a Kenyan by blood. By blood. The blood that runs in me is the Kenyan blood. And I know you also have the same. Our forefathers fought for us to have a country that benefits us. Yes, we have fought for that. So, even though we are fighting for that, let's think about our country. Let's think, let's rethink about our country. We are not in support of whatever nonsense the president has been saying day in, day out. But even though we fight, those key institutions in our country, they mean the world to us. Without them, we don't have a nation. So let's protect them. Let's protect our Supreme Court. Let's protect our parliament. Let's protect our Senate. Let's protect our airport, let's protect our business complexes in this country. Let's nobody. Akuna guna na paso kurusiwa arushe mawe bank. Akuna guna na paso kurusiwa arushe mawe supermarket. Mutu, mutu anasimama anambia wengine. I saw somebody in Gedurai 45 telling, te, in 44, telling people that he, hapa naivas, kuna soja wawili tu. Tunaeza wapiga na tuingie tuvunje hiyo supermarket. And I wonder, how do you men with brains, hold men with the children back at home, listen to such idiotic people and take points from them? Mutu anapaso, mimi ukiniletea pointi kama hiyo, I dare you bring that point to me. Na kutoa meno live and direct. Because I don't believe in such chaotic things and... People have built their businesses from the ground. Naiva supermarket is not owned by any politician. Nor is, is, are our banks. So 
biashara ya mtu leo hapo agedhorai 44 44 amefungua tu juzi everything na ni biashara ya kuuza chakula tell me where are we heading as a country if that's what we are going to do with our business for now make sure you subscribe and tell me what you think about Raila Odinga's betrayal to president William Ruto amesema Ruto you are you on your own i'm not on with you Tunamalizia hapo. Make sure una subscribe Dani. Ya yeah, celeb kona KE. Yes my name is FK Mwenda. I remind you if you are you love what we do and you want to support us our number is 0704 Sorry sorry sorry. Number uh, our number is 0705 44972 number itakuwa hapo kwa screen or any support we will really appreciate see you in our next video yes and the reason why we are seeking this support ni kwa sababu we want to buy equipment mzuri za kufanya live stream to 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 put a, 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 a very 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 beautiful studio here so that we can have the political conversations that we have been talking about yes And thank you for those that are supporting us. Mpesa zenu na na anything yenye mna